So now we will move on to Hetzner, which is one of the excellent German service providers offering great prices and excellent services as well. So the idea is that we will be working with a VPS or what is called a virtual private server, which is a virtual server where we can host our various projects and websites. After that, we will install Coolify, which is a platform that greatly simplifies the process of what is called self-hosting. Self-hosting means that directly on the server, we will have a platform where we can host any projects we want. And it's really excellent. After that, we will install Nginx and WordPress. So let's begin with God's blessing. We will go to Hetzner so that you can have an account there. On Hetzner, you need to have an international payment card and you might also need a passport to verify your identity. There are many videos that explain the process. The process is very simple once you have these two things. Excellent. So we'll go straight to new project and let's name it together. GPT4AR. So here I've created this project where I'll keep the various services I need. After that, I'll go to servers and click on add server. We'll leave everything as default. If you want to change the region, you can do so according to your location so that it's faster. Then here I'll click on OS and choose qualify so that everything is easier and set up by default. Next, I'll select x86 and choose this option. After that, I'll scroll down. Here, I'll leave the login method as username and password to keep things simple. But the better way is through SSH. So we might have another video that explains that in detail. But for now, let's keep things simple so we can see the result right away and get it done as quickly as possible. So now I'll go to backups as well. Backups are very important because they always keep backup copies of various data for you. If you have servers, you definitely have, for example, databases or specific data. So you need to create backups. I recommend as a beginner that you always make backups and enable this option. Excellent. So now that's it. We're almost done with the process. Just click on create by now. And it will start working. I'll wait until it turns green, which means the deployment is finished. And then we'll continue with the process. God willing. Here, the server is done. We can access it and see various things. For example, it has two virtual CPUs, 4 GB of RAM and 40 GB of disk space. And this way, you can see various information here, like backups and other things I need for work. But what matters to us now is running Qualify. I'll go directly to the console to this icon and click on Console. When we enter, it will ask me for a login and password. And you'll find that this information has been sent to the email you registered with on Hetzner. So let's go together to the email. So when we open the email, we'll find that I received an email like this. So here I have the user as root and I have the password. So I'll copy the password and I'll go to, I'll go to the console. So here I am in the console, I'll type root. After that, I'll paste here and press enter. After that, it asks me for the password again, so I press paste once more. And here we need to enter a new password that I have to remember so I can access the server. So it's very important to be careful at this stage. Here I logged into the server and it immediately started installing Qualify. Of course, if you have another server, I mean, in... There's a simple command you just write and it will install Qualify. So let it finish installing and I'll get back to you here. The installation finished in about a minute or two. I'm going to copy this link. It's the same as the server's IP with port 8000 and we'll access it to see how it looks. Let's see what the interface will look like. I'll just go back here and copy the IP and enter the port. You'll immediately get this interface right away. I'll proceed to enter my name here, for example, my full name and I'll carefully write my email address here, and then we'll proceed to set a very simple and straightforward password. And click on register. I'll click save so it doesn't bother me later. After that, I click on get started, then next. Here you'll notice that I have localhost and remote server. 
That's because Coolify is a platform that can manage more than one server. So you could have, for example, a server running Coolify, and then you can control multiple servers. But since we only have one server, we'll just click on localhost and keep things simple. Great. Now I have Coolify set up and we can do a lot of things, but before anything else, let's get started. First, what do we do? We connect it to a domain, which is my own link. Of course, you can buy a domain from any platform. I recommend Namecheap. So you go there directly, choose any domain, and after you pay, you'll have an interface like this. Let's take a look at it together. So here I've logged into Namecheap. And of course, I explained in a previous video how to create a domain name. It's very simple, so we'll click on Manage here. And we'll need to go to Advanced DNS here. And I'll carefully add these two elements, or perhaps it would be more beneficial to completely delete them and then meticulously add them back once more, so that you, the viewer, can clearly observe the entire process step by step. How? How? All right, we'll click on Add New Record. We click on Add Record here. And first we type the at symbol here and we enter the IP like this and we set it to one minute here. So the update happens faster. We click here on add record and then here star here star. This means that any subdomain will also go directly to the server. And this is very important when we set up other services. For example, if we set up N8N, it would be N8N GPT for AR dot site for instance. So the process is really simple. So we will carefully set it to exactly one minute here and make absolutely sure it is thoroughly checked, checked. And then we will proceed to click on the save button. So let us now observe if the entire process was successfully saved or not, specifically to save all of the recent changes. So here it should have been saved. Let's just refresh and make sure the process was successful. Excellent. So what have we done now? Now, when we access this domain, it will take us directly to the server address. Excellent on our route, and it takes us to the server address. And when we go to any subdomain within this domain, meaning, for example, if we type anything .gpt4 error .site, it will also take us to the server. And here, Coolify will be the one redirecting the traffic to the appropriate service. We won't go too deep into this point. So what do I need to do now? We'll go to settings in general and right here. Here we write the link, HTTPS, and for example, we write qualify. After that, my own domain. So for example, here it's GPT4AV site. So we'll write it this way. Now let's go directly to this site and see. It might take some time. Of course, if it takes time, just wait a bit until the domain is, let's say, registered. So here it worked for me. We'll go directly to the email and log in with the same password you just registered with. So we'll click on login. Now let's save so the password stays saved. And now I have the qualify interface. We'll simply create our first N8N project quickly. Notice how fast the process is. I'll have a set of projects here. For example, here I have a project called my first project. I click on add new resource. And here you'll find hundreds of services that you can easily deploy on the server, including, for example, N8N, WordPress, and many others. But let's focus only on N8N since that's our main topic. So I'll click here on N8N with Postgres. And here you can see that it created a domain for me, but it's not the domain I want. So let's go back to the settings. It's possible that the entire process wasn't properly saved, so let's just go ahead and refresh the page. And let's also go. The other thing we need to do is also go to the server here, click on localhost and enter the domain where the different services will be hosted. Here it will be gpt4ar.site. And we carefully click the save button, ensuring that all changes are properly recorded. Then I will navigate back again to the main project area, specifically to the project named my first project. At this point, I need to delete this particular project. So we will click on the delete option and just copy this exact name here, just so I can precisely delete only this specific project. So now I'll click on add new resource. And as we mentioned before, you'll find hundreds of services. Here, I will choose N8N with Postgres SQL so that it comes with its own database. 
Here you'll see that it gives you a default link. Notice how it's gpt4ar.site. So I'll click on settings here and change this link, making it a simple link like this and click save. Always remember to save. Then I go back and just click on deploy and wait until the deployment is finished and you'll have an N8N service ready. So I'll let it do the deployment and get back to you once it's done. I'll just exit this interface after the deployment and I'll see that it's running. Here you'll just find the link. Here you'll click on the link, which is the one we set up a moment ago. So I'll just click here. If it doesn't work for you right away, just wait a little bit and it will work. So we're going to create a new account here and we'll use the same password to keep everything consistent. So let's try again here and log in. So we'll just select anything here. Here I choose my email so that it gives me a license key, which unlocks better options for me. So now I have it directly on my site and I've hosted it inside Qualify. Excellent. Now, if you truly want to activate this particular option, we will certainly do it together step by step. You will then receive an important email that looks exactly like this one. I will carefully copy the email address and then proceed to log into my account right here, ensuring everything is correct. And then I will log in to the system. I will now enter the activation key and then proceed to click on the activate button. That's it. Now I have successfully obtained the necessary license. So I will go back to the previous section here. We can accomplish this in a very simple and straightforward manner. I'll just click on create workflow and start working. Let's also create another service quickly. We'll go to project project here. And of course we can simplify the name so it doesn't stay as this name. Just like that, let's go to production and add another service as well. For example, WordPress. WordPress is a platform that's widely used on the internet. In fact, most websites on the internet probably use this platform. I'm going to click save here, but before that, let's just edit the link to make it simpler. And we'll keep it the same way. So we click save and go back. And let's also keep the name simple here, just WordPress so I can remember it easily. And I click deploy and wait for the process to finish. So here it says start. So let's exit this and go to the link. It might take a minute or even less. Just be patient with it until it starts working. Yes, now it's working. I'll choose Arabic here, for example, and click continue. After that, we choose the site name, for example. Let's write, for example, test site as the username. Let me try using the same username, the password. Let's just save the password. Here, we enter the email and prevent search engines from indexing it because it's just a test and I don't want it to be saved. We click here, login. We enter my username and the same password. We click on login. So here I actually had a significant issue. Now I've entered WordPress. If we go into WordPress, we'll find that I have a site. That means WordPress is now ready. And you'll notice that this is the idea I was talking about a little while ago. So here, any subdomain will go directly to this server and Coolify will route it straight to the appropriate service. So now we have Coolify, which I can use to host multiple services. We also have Nginx, where we can set up excellent automation and WordPress so I can create a website. Let's start this workshop from this point so that all doors are open for you. So you can create other services. You can connect them. You can expand as much as you want. And that's the approach we follow. So we always try to choose solutions that are open and allow you to advance and grow your skills however you like. See you in the next video, God willing.